Hi and welcome to this Distress Marker tutorial. Today we will be using the stamp set Too Too Sweet and Bear of All Trades from Penny Black. Spellbinders A2 Matting Basics A Spellbinders Standard Circles Small and Large and Spellbinders Lacy Circles. Here are some examples that I've created using other Distress Marker colours. To begin we cut a card blank using A2 Matting Basics. We then use a smaller matting basic and emboss a line around the outside edge of the card as seen here. Using the same die we cut a coloured mat and then we cut a circle out of it using the Spellbinders Nesting Circle. We then cut a lacy circle and also another spellbinder circle to create a frame to go round the edge. Cut some hem batik twine and create a bow to go along the top of the card. We also use spellbinder's pennants to cut a little tag. Rub an anti-static bag over the white card blank. Then place your mat over the top of the card to act as a template to know where to stamp. I'm then going to use this clear stamp of the bear. I use VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Ink up the stamp. And then stamp into the white circle area. Pressing firmly. I then emboss this image with clear embossing powder and heat to set. Take the You're the Best stamp from Bear of All Trades set and cut into two. Don't worry, this doesn't damage your stamp and you can put it together afterwards. It just gives it more flexibility. Then stamp the sentiment and add clear embossing powder. Again, heat set to finish. Glue the sentiment onto the card and add the twine. You can see here I've speeded things up a bit. I'm not really this quick. I then use an Edding Crystal Jelly Pen to draw a dotted line around the edge to make it look like stitching. This pen is really good and it flows really well. We're now ready to colour our teddy image. For this we will need our Distress Marker pens. I'll just zoom out a bit so that you can see them here. I've chosen five colours. That's Rusty Hinge and Scattered Straw for the bear's body. Antique Linen for the grounding. And Bundled Sage and Peeled Paint for the dress. I'm going to use my clear acrylic block and I'm just going to place some scattered straw onto the block. I then use a water brush pen to add a bit of colour to the bear's body. 
This is just a base coat to give it a light colouring. We will be adding shading in the next step. This is really quick to do. Clean my brush off and then I put some rusty hinge using the brush marker end again onto my acrylic block. Blend it in with my water brush pen and colour in the insides of the ears around the outside edge of the face. I then clean off my brush and blend into the original colour that I started with to get a softer look. I repeat this process down the body and arms, blending as I go along and cleaning my brush in between. I then take the rusty hinge and use the fine tip to just do the bear's claws. I clean off my acrylic block and my paintbrush. And now I'm going to use the bundled sage and peeled paint. Take the peeled paint and apply with the brush marker end directly to parts of the dress. I'm just going around the edge of the frills as you can see here. This will add the darker shade. I then take bundled sage and just add a little bit of colour to the bodice. And then I add some to my acrylic block, use the water brush and blend the colours in. If the image appears a little bit dark, you can just add a bit of water and then blot to remove some of the excess ink. You can see here I've done this technique just to lighten the dress a little bit further. I then use the peeled paint and just go in with a fine tip in the heart. To finish off, I ground her with antique linen. Again, I apply directly using the brush marker end to the card. And again, just blend the edges in with the clean paintbrush. I wanted to add a bit of sparkle to her, so I took some stickles, diamond stickles, and added some to the dress and just patted with my finger to spread about. Once the image was dry, I was then ready to add the mount on top. I used foam pads to give it a raised effect and here you can see the finished card. Thank you for watching. For further details, please visit my blog at candronicucardcraft.blogspot.co.uk.